Hey guys, it's your girl Yusi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and enable all push notifications. As you can see from the title of today's video, we're going to get in our ex off your mind. Oh, by the way, I got my nails done by Prince for Nails at Cloud 11 Salon, Dubai. So, go get your nails done. You can see these pretty little fingers. <laughs> so, without further ado, let us congratulate everybody that's been able to step out of a toxic relationship. And those are the key out of your relationship. <laughs> it don't matter how you became single, it's not easy that way. So, congrats and welcome to the street. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the first step bah, for you to start the journey of life is for you not to block your ex because a lot of people say this thing, but they'll be saying, block your ex, cut up your ex. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. But your ex is not dead. So why are you planning on creating an illusion and starting this chapter without him or her existing? The person just broke up with you. The person is still on earth. So why are you deceiving yourself? The funny thing is that like you guys probably have mutual friends, so you are going to bump into each other again. And when you guys bump into each other, but you know those feelings you you thought you blocked and moved on when you cut off that ex person from Snapchat, Instagram, blocked person's number, they are all going to come back and be like, let's just slap across the face. and be having issues with their exes seeing new people with the Loki stalking their exes though but they don't call them stalking but if Loki stalking their exes but they don't move down the right way I'm shaking something you have to keep like the, the reason why I'm giving this tip is because you have to keep your ex in your life so that you can face reality you have to get used to you posting something in your story your ex will see it and don't reply that snap because you're no longer entitled to his or her replies you have to wake up like you see your ex's name on your snapchat but you can't dm the person you have to dm the person before because you are no longer dating the person like you have to be there like you have to receive maybe the person will say hi you receive hi but you can no longer say hi baby hi baby. you have to get used to reality you have to embrace that person's presence in this world but just not as your partner so don't cut that person off you have to accept reality that, that's what this person is like although it's called block block your ex but it is I don't know who, who is messaging me on my laptop but it's for you to accept reality you are no longer dating this person the person did not die the person just left you man <laughs> <laughs> the second step that is also very very essential is for you to listen to sad music and cry if you guys want i can upload my playlist because i just listen to sad music in general for some part of anything i can upload my playlist for you guys to see let me tell you something but heartbreak is like physical injury when you wound yourself by you taking your time to clean the wound do this thing so embrace the feeling of being hot like somebody just tore your heart apart you need to sit down and cry. Listen to sad music. Cry. Blow the tissue in the house. Like you have to cry. Cry. The same way when you're angry, you cry. You feel better. When you're sad, you've been heartbroken. You cry. Cry. There's nothing wrong with crying over somebody. Like this, somebody you like a lot. So sit down, listen to sad music, and cry. 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 <laughs> Three. It's for you to sit down and reflect. Think about what just happened. Let me tell you about when you sit down and reflect, but it will also help you accept reality. Okay? You have to think of everything that happened that let's like accept, like you have to sit down and so you can know where you like stop valuing yourself too much, where you start taking nonsense. So that your next relationship, you will not take the same nonsense and end up in the same place again. You have to like get sit down, think, think of everything. Like you have to do that thing. Just think of how it happened weeks before it happened. Everything like 
so that you will see certain things you were blind to. So that the next time you find yourself in a relationship that you won't make the mistakes you made before. Okay? And this will also help you, like at, at the top of this thing, will help you as sex and it's like by the time you've sat down and you've thought of this this relationship, like analyzed it like one, two, three, four, five times, like it will just become something very normal and casual to you. Like you get used to thinking of it without feeling pain, which is already on the step like stage of moving on. You guess like when you think of it, it's not that you think can come. I'm not talking about sitting down to be reminiscing, I'm thinking of when you to be kissing you, sucking your breath. Mm-hmm. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about you thinking about the breakup and uh, weeks before the breakup. Like do serious analysis of that thing so you can understand and accept the fact that you left that nigga or that nigga left you or that bitch left you. Or that oh jeez, you left that bitch. I guess go this thing before move back because you know I'm chewing this thing. <laughs> Step four is for you to think of this relationship break up positively. Like see. Don't think about the negative impact of that person living your life. Think about the positive impact. You no longer have to stay up late at night. You no longer have to waste your makeup to go see somebody that, that don't deserve it. You no longer have to maybe be compromising. Like, cause of course when you're in a relationship, you have to compromise because that like, is a partnership. And honestly, like this life now once, I don't see the reason why you should be compromising in the first place. <laughs> in the streets, it's me. That's way for all, but like you no longer have to do certain things. You used to be have more time for yourself. Have like there's so many positive things that can come out of this step of your relationship. So like focus on the positive aspect of not being with that person, and you see that it will eventually overshadow the negative part, and you'll be able to like remove that nigga or that bitch off your mind. Fuck my ex. Fuck my parent. Fuck the government. Nigga. Fuck anybody controlling this system. You watching this video, fuck you, fuck me too. You should have fuck all of us. Get out of my face, man. Another step you can follow back is for you to go out with your friends. Like, see, apart from the time you use for reflection, like thinking about the breakup and like, everything that lets you so that like it can sink in that you're no longer dating this person, but see every other period of time, apart from when let me say you're working, you're doing your work, or let me say you're, you're in school, apart from when you're doing your school work and other things like step out with your friends like don't don't sit down in the house and be letting yourself get drawn into the the what they call that thing i don't know what get drawn into the something that will make you be reminiscing about certain things so you're not thinking about your ex too much and not do something stupid so is that go out or forget a new hobby like start something new it's a new chapter like you literally just stepped out of something it's a new chapter an opportunity to venture into something else so see thinking about it positively see another step back is for you to give yourself time to heal don't rush the process don't rush it see you know i compared break up to wound when you have an injury you don't brush your wound it takes time to heal until it is dry that if you now try let me say going to go continue playing sports with the injury that is not completely healed to tear back to you take your time there's nothing embarrassing about a breakup if you've broken up with somebody and your heart broken and you feel like you're not over this person like you don't need to step right back into the game like sit down and continue crying sit down and and start a new hobby like give yourself time to completely heal so that when you're back out there you're not going to date and just see the person about to change now about to get you like because that shit is not funny that shit is not funny <laughs> you cannot come with your half open wound and come on date with you and just see me about to get you <laughs> don't do that bullshit take your time you like let let that wound dry this popcorn stop on my teeth so press the control the right up Let me know. Last step, the tip advice I'm going to be sharing with you guys for this video is for you to stop sexting and sleeping with your ex. See, your ex won't take you back if you do that. Like this person was already hitting it in the relationship, get it to squeeze you anyhow, press you, blow you anyhow, but and the person still broke up with you. You now think offering it to the person outside the relationship is going to get the person back. See, wake up.
wake up, you, you have slept for too long. That's not how it works. If that person was hitting it securely, like you know, secure person was hitting, and the person still left you, or you probably left the person for whatever reason you have, and you're now sexing the person, you will never move on because you're outside the relationship, but you're still doing the things you were doing in the relationship. Like you have to be using your sense sometimes. You don't do shit like that unless you're toxic, yeah. Don't don't take my advice because if you know you're a toxic person, you just enjoy doing toxic things, please. And don't decide because all of you guys out there be toxic as fuck. See, if you know you want, okay, you've set out a relationship, but you still want to be fucking your ex, to be sexing your ex, and to be doing other niggas, then how do they go? But if you want to really get by this person, you have to stop that animalistic behavior. You have to stop it. They are toxic, don't listen to this advice. Don't even watch this video in general because what are you moving on from? <laughs> You want to remain stagnant in life. <laughs> I don't force anybody to move. <laughs> so um that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that I can be getting more videos like this and other things I've started to do with my time and your time. <laughs> By the way, this is the popcorn. I bought the popcorn yesterday, but but I don't know why I thought I would finish here and I started doing it again this morning and this video just stayed happening and everything was just happening so I got the cheese and caramel bar. I don't know the cheese was going to taste like cheese ball because I've not taken cheese for popcorn before but, and the caramel is normally like too sweet for me so when I now got it, it just both of them, eating both of them makes it just perfect like just Bye-bye, everybody.